longer do we have a transmitter box. We now have a primary probe and ancillary probe. And what you're seeing here is a complete air measurement station. Um, uh, you're seeing uh, actual working version here. We've got uh, airflow that's being shown, uh, temperature being shown. That's what's actually going through here right now with the very slight air movement. We're able to measure down to zero feet per minute. Uh, this enclosure is a NEMA 4 enclosure, uh, but we pre-drill the holes in the enclosure so that the installing contractor doesn't run a drill through our circuit board, and then we plug it with NEMA 1 plugs. So the upgrade to NEMA 4 is simply replacing these NEMA 1 plugs with NEMA 4 plugs. So the uh, enclosure, though, is a NEMA 4 enclosure. Um, the uh, menu uh, and the, the keypad is pin protected, so you're able to get, gain access, easy access uh, to the menus to configure this, but uh, very little configuration is required because these are shipped out of the box accurate. So uh, we configure them with uh, 20 points uh, at our factory from zero to 5,000 feet per minute and set it up so that it's got the height and the width of your opening and will display CFM uh, when it arrives on site. I've configured this one for feet per minute for uh, the show here today so I can show people uh, air velocity by waving this around. Uh, the other breakthrough on our device is the new surface mount thermistors. Uh, we're using a much smaller thermistor and if you can see the thermistor through there it's a very very small thermistor. A smaller thermistor actually catches less dirt. Um, another feature of the small thermistor we're using a flexible polymized circuit so that's as what the thermistors look like. Uh, they're very rugged. Uh, they're made uh, in a pick-and-place technology, much like you would a circuit board, with high-performance uh, uh, devices. Uh, the, again, these thermistors are very, very accurate. 2% accuracy on a uh, thermal dispersion, 3% uh, installed accuracy. Uh, but another benefit of the very, very small thermistors is our lower energy draw. We went from having the highest energy draw in the industry to now the lowest. We were drawing 65 BA to power up 16 sensors using the glass bead technology. The bead in glass uh, took a lot of power to heat up that much mass. Uh, the much smaller mass takes less energy. So we're now using less than 8 BA for 16 sensors on two probes, which is the lowest in the industry. And hence, I was able to run this thing on 9 volt batteries. Not its intended operation mode, but again, very, very low power consumption. Because of that low power consumption, we've eliminated the self-heating uh, that existed before. Now the accuracy of the temperature is very, very good uh, and is one of the calibration points. So when you install this, the average temperature reported from all of the sensors is reported as a backnet point or as an analog out point. So we have two uh, 4 to 20 milliamp outputs. Uh, this is your primary uh, interface to the building automation and also your user interface. We also have wireless and wired user interfaces. So whatever we're showing here, if I generate an airflow on the uh, uh, probe here, what you'll see is a uh, uh, on the the same airflow will be displayed on the wireless. So that's what we're able to do here uh, using a Zigbee wireless is to have a user interface remotely located up to uh, 200 feet away wirelessly, up to 500 feet away if you want to wire it. So great new product for you. The advanced thermal dispersion probes uh, is uh, a real winner for you, the TDP-05K.